Now, you got to ask yourself, when it comes to these guys, the simps like Derek Jackson, the preachers like T.D. Jakes, the, the, the uh, uh, hoteps like Dr. Umar Johnson, you got to ask yourself, what does promoting the idolizing and worshiping of women as if they are deities, what type of effects does that have on the black woman's mind? What it has done is their interference has caused an undue level of entitlement, a ridiculously high level of expectations. If you think for one second that these women's idea of wanting a man that makes six figures, wanting a man that does this, does that, has all of these, these, these freaking hoops that they got to jump through, if you think that Derrick Jackson did not play a part in that, if you think that guys like Derrick Jackson didn't play a part in that, because he's not the only one, there's a whole army of simps on the internet preaching all of that. If he ain't doing this, then you should dump him. If he ain't this way, you shouldn't be with him. If he's a narcissistic gas lighting, uh, 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 man who does not have emotional intelligence, you shouldn't be with him. These men that don't want to date single mamas, y'all, there's something wrong with y'all. It don't matter how many dudes she got kids by. There's a bunch of these dudes on the internet. When I first met Kevin Samuels, when I first met him, I met him on the Brother Pill podcast and we, we connected, started kicking it over the phone. You know what he told me on the phone one day? He said, the black preacher ruined my marriage. Flat out. He said his wife was going to that black preacher for counseling and the bull that he was telling that woman destroyed his marriage. And don't even get me started with the hoteps like uh, 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 Dr. Umar Johnson. He going to these events, talking to these black people. Who you think he's talking to? Most of the people that he's talking to are single mothers. That's why everything, everything he talks about deals with the kids. Because the kids are a way to the mama. Now, what am I accusing Dr. Umar of? Not accusing him of anything. But I think he's on some Jerry Maguire shit. And, you know, or some Cuddy from the wire type shit. On Jerry Maguire, Jerry had a conversation with uh, 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 Cuba Gooden Jr.'s character. He said, yeah, man, you know, I like this woman, but she's got this amazing kid and da-da-da. He said, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Are you shoplifting the pooty? He's like, no, I'm not shoplifting the pooty. He said, yeah, it sounds like you're shoplifting the pooty. Now, what is shoplifting the pooty? It's when a dude makes a connection with the kid that gives the single mother the impression that he's going to stick around. And through that manipulation, he can shoplift them draws. If you remember on The Wire, when Cuddy stopped working with Avon, he stopped hustling, stopped doing all of that. He opened up a gym because he knew how to box. He knew that sweet science. And when he opened up the gym, the kids started coming to the gym. He got Avon to invest in the gym to get them equipment or whatever. And all of a sudden, because you in the hood and these kids ain't got no daddies, but they got mamas. The mama starts showing up, bringing food. And what did Cuddy do? He started smashing the mamas. And that's what caused a lot of the boys to stop going to the gym. Spider stopped going to the gym and started hustling. 
Why? Because Cuddy was smashing his mama. But that wasn't the only mama he was smashing. Now, if you think, if you think I'm going to sit here and pretend like these hotep Negroes don't be operating like that, we living in a fantasy world. We living in a fantasy world. Right? Now, like I said, and I don't have no problem saying this about all of them, because all of them have attacked the brothers in these spaces. I know for a fact, Umar has most certainly attacked Kevin once he got popular. Once Kevin Samuels got popular, Umar Johnson came for him. Once Kevin Samuels got popular, Creflo Dollar came for him. Along with plenty of simps like Derek Jackson. Why is that? Because if you have real men out here that are teaching men to be masculine, teaching men to be leaders, teaching men to be patriarchs, them Negroes right there are going to have a problem with it. And that is the reason why they can get away with all types of shit. And you don't see the system come down on them the way it came down on Andrew Tate. 